Hey guys, this week's prompt is to design a testimonial. Um, so I'm going to go with just a straightforward testimonial you would find on a website specifically for a greenhouse um, or somewhere that you would go and get plants for your yard or your house, things of that nature. Um, so first things first, we're going to want an image of the person leaving the testimonial or giving the testimonial along with their name and then the actual testimonial itself. Um, so let's put some words in here specific to a greenhouse. Um, we'll say, I absolutely love this place. Every time I come here, I get lost in the sea of greenery. The plants are always healthy and lush. That's important. Um, I'm always discovering new species, species, species. And the staff are so friendly. Um, what else could we put in here? We could put... Um, I could literally spend all day here and not, not realize it. Um, and then last part of a testimonial that you'd want is knowing whether or not somebody would come back. So we'll definitely be back soon. Um, and we'll make that larger since that is the primary thing we want users to see with the testimonial. And um, on to the typeface. Let's see. Let's go with Fira Sands. Um, it's nice and neutral and adds a super subtle hint of femininity with the curved edges, but not too much to turn off uh, our male demographics here. So I'm going to make up a name, Sarah Plants. Sounds like a good name for somebody who's going to a greenhouse, wouldn't you say? Um, so let's see, we'll tuck up the name net underneath the testimonial, and I'm going to go with a round container for our image here that I've pulled from Unsplash. Um, Unsplash is a platform to find really nice free photography. Um, so I just grabbed this random portrait on there, and I want to put it in a round container because we are going with a greenhouse, um, and plants are nice organic shapes, so I want to play off of that. Um, and let's actually play off of it even more. Let's take it out of this circle and let's create an organic shape to put the image in. Um, so I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm going to create just kind of these nice curves here. And let's see, just kind of adjust that a little bit. So this is a good starting point for our shape, and we'll adjust it as we start to lay things out in case we need to. Um, but let's just throw it in here, and then we'll adjust the curves just slightly, make it a little bit more dramatic of curves, I guess you could say. Um, so we'll do that, and we'll adjust the placement of the image inside of there. Um, okay, and then... Let's flip that around so it can fit a little nicer in with the uh, the content here. Feels decent. Um, okay, so next I'm going to actually add a little bit of texture in here. Again, going with the greenhouse idea. Um, you walk into a greenhouse and you feel and see a lot of texture with all the different plants and lining the aisles. Um, so I want to kind of play on that and cr uh, create these textures of organic shapes. Um, and I'm going to go with a green here. Um, let's try and figure out our color palette. I want to go with a green, obviously, because we're talking about a greenhouse, so that makes sense. Um, but I don't want like this bright Kelly green. I want something that's a little darker, but still and not like super muted. So let's go with we can adjust here and play. That's too blue, obviously. Let's go back to green. Mm, feels a little bit too like Kelly green. Darkening it isn't really helping. Again, we're getting a little too blue. Let's see here. Let's start with that as a starting point. Let's see if we can find a color to complement it. I want to go with kind of like this green and pink pairing, but I want to go with a super um, subtle soft pink. 
um, not too bubblegummy, but that way we're introducing this uh, femininity, but it's um, it's more subtle and not as in your face. Um, so I'm actually going to go to my trusty color palette tool because I'm not digging what I'm coming up with here on my own. So I'm going to go to coolers.co. Um, I'm going to start generating some color palettes until I see some colors that I like. Um, and this kind of salmon color is nice. Um, let's see here. I like this nice dark green. It's got some vibrancy to it even though it's still dark. Um, let's see here. This is a nice soft pink. I like that better than the salmon color because um, it's a little bit more subtle and can be used more secondary and as a, to add a little bit of interest without being super prominent in taking over. Um, so if we copy and paste our hex values here from coolers, we've got our green and our pink here. That feels like a nice soft color palette um, that we can play with here. So we've got this nice green that's a little bit muted but still has a nice pop to it and then this soft pink. Um, so I'm going to play with these shapes here and try to get something that creates some visual interest. So let's adjust these shapes here. There's a little bit too much like a flower bud behind there, a little too literal. It's not quite right. So if we reverse that. Now I want to keep the image up top because that uh, allows it to be more prominent than the texture and also be uh, a little bit higher in the hierarchy as regard in regards to like the testimonial too. What's it feel like more of a unit with the testimonial rather than hanging off the bottom there. Um, I kind of like the sh like kind of wing look that we've got going here. So we're going to go with that for now. I'm going to bring the green into the attribution here for Sarah Plants, but we need to add some space before her name so that it's visually separate from the testimonial itself. Um, so let's bump this over a little bit, shorten our line lengths, and let's figure out how we want these to sit next to each other. I'm going to adjust these curves a little bit more. That's feeling a little better and a little more balanced. Not quite so literal bud, flower bud. All right, and then I'm going to put this in a container to start with. Um, so we add a drop shadow here. I want to make it super subtle. So I'm going to draw that, drop that opacity down to 10. Then I'm going to make these shapes really large so that they bleed off of the container, bleed out of the container a little bit. So let's put these in a clipping mask. That bleeds off maybe a little too much though. So let's get our clipping mask set with our. Oh, we've got to get a fill on that mask or else the drop shadow won't show up. Um, so let's put a white fill on that. And we've got our drop shadow. And I copy and pasted those shapes to be below the. Uh, the container as well, and that should allow it to. Um, we're getting into the dribble composition here, so we're, I want to create kind of some texture in here and some visual interest, but keep it simple. So I'm going to continue those shapes out of the container um, and onto the background. I want to play with the corner options here a little bit too. Um, since we're going with the greenhouse and playing on the idea of these organic shapes, I want to maybe think about trying to make these corners a little bit have them different roundedness different roundiness I don't know what the right word is um, but alternate 
more round and less round. And then that kind of creates this organic shape for the container without being overboard with it, going overboard with it. Um, and then the next thing I want to add in here is some pagination for the testimonials. And then that will allow, it implies that uh, we've got more than one here, even though we're only showing one. Um, where do we want to put that? I think we'll put that inside the container, but up here feels a little out of place and feels a little bit more decorative. Um, I think if we try doing this vertical over here on the side, we bump the text box over. up so we get all the content in there. It kind of makes it feel like it is something you can drag. I don't know if I like it or hate it. Let's try again. Let's just put it here at the bottom and not try to get cute with it. Let's just do something simple and make it a known pattern for the user. So we will put it at the bottom here. Let's adjust our spacing with the content and the white space between the two. I think that feels pretty good. Okay, so let's center this up on the artboard here. And I wanna add a little bit more a little bit more uh, texture here to the background um, to kind of play up like I was talking about earlier the idea you walk into a greenhouse and you see a lot of visual texture with all the plants lining the aisles so I'm going to create kind of like this little these little paint brush marks to add some visual interest here and paint brushes on a trackpad are kind of hard so bear with me um, okay undo. Let's see if we can get this to make more sense with the pen tool. No, that feels a little too rigid for what I'm wanting. And playing with the profile of that stroke is not really doing anything either because they're too uniform. Okay, let's go back to the paintbrush. And I'll just be a little bit more careful with my strokes here. That one doesn't need to be there. Let's tuck this guy up a little bit. We'll add another one. Tuck that in a little bit. I don't want these to be perfect, but I also don't want them to be crazy. So this feels like a good balance here. Um, so I'm going to adjust where they are sitting in here. So that's too big. Let's go back here. Let's put this at the bottom again. Send it to the back. Play with the placement. No, I think I like that heavier, but not quite as heavy as it was. Okay, so we've got that sitting up there up top. And we'll put some down at the bottom. I like them being kind of at the same angle. Okay, so let's see. Let's adjust some of the placement of these so that we can get them more visible around the corner of this container here. So if we bump these out, that feels pretty good. And let's get it a little larger on the artboard and centered up. And I'm gonna let that green shape bleed off a little bit. Um, but let's see, play with the spacing. And let's darken this background color a little bit to kind of 
make that container pop a little bit. Super subtle, so it's not obvious, but it just feels like the the background or that container is popping a little bit more. And there we have it. There is our weekly UI for this week, a testimonial for a greenhouse. Um, let's do it again next week.